put them under pressure with that batting line, which is not looking great? Number one, I don't believe in predetermining so, much, so many things, but with the way test cricket is going now, we've <coughs> seen that uh, outside the subcontinent, even in the subcontinent nowadays, test matches hardly last five days. So if you if you look at that, then that means that the amount of time you'll get on the pitch is going to be less than what you would get in five days. So I think uh, the scoring rates would have to be up there, uh, but. With, with good bowling lineups in, in, in both teams, there, there'll be times where you'll have to sort of uh, knuckle down and really, really sort of uh, spend time at the crease as well. But there'll be times where you'll have to score quickly and, and put some scoreboard pressure so that uh, you get a you get an advantage in the game. Um, Pakistan faces its first I think we're still uh, sort of uh, still, still settling in in terms of accepting the World Test Championship. I mean, this is going to be our first uh, representation of it. Um, I think it's too early to, to sort of look to the final, which is in two years' time. Uh, but it's uh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, the, the points that are available in both Test matches are quite significant because it's a two-Test match series. Uh, so. Uh, I don't think there'll be an added pressure, there'll be an added incentive that uh, nothing will be a dead rubber here. As it is, it's a two test match series, so I mean, uh, even a single win would be good. But look, uh, as as the World Test Championship has started, we'll be looking to, to get as many points as possible from this group. Um, also, since the, uh, also since the introduction of jersey numbers, has there been any sort of uh, say of uh, Fight between the team members which number to take or how is that exactly this is going to happen? Our board is pretty strict on that matter. Uh, numbers have already been uh, the, the same numbers that are in the ODIs and the T20s, uh, where we're carrying the same numbers. So there's been a strict policy of no change in numbers. Uh, Dean Jones wrote on the weekend that this Pakistan team is a really talented team, but not ready to beat Australia in Australia uh, against a pretty battle-hard Australian team. What do you make of that? And do you think you guys are ready to not just play well, but really contend in this test match? Uh, look, I mean, uh, everyone has a right to, to their opinion. Uh, uh, with Dean Jones, he's worked with uh, a PSL franchise and with, a, with another PSL franchise. So he knows his stuff about Pakistani cricket because he's been there for three, four years working with the boys. But I would look at it as an opportunity. Uh, if something people say is not possible, uh, imagine uh, imagine getting those results in your way. So it's a great opportunity. Uh, I think all of us in the dressing room, we look at this as an opportunity. If it doesn't happen, we learn from it. But if look, we do succeed over here, uh, it'll be a It'll, it'll be kind of history in the making as, as we've seen Pakistan's record in Australia before. So it's a huge opportunity and whoever raises his hands, steps up, um, they're in for a very good period. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.